Mrs. Rock here. I was just practicing my scissor skills. Well, today I'm really excited because we are going to be making a scribble noton. Let's get ready. Here are the materials you're going to need. Noton is a Japanese term that means the harmony between light and dark. So today we're going to create some harmony between the colorful sections of our artwork and the black sections of our artwork. And we're going to collage them together. That means to glue. So we're going to be doing some cutting and gluing. But first, let's make some cool colors and some warm colors on our white sheet of paper. I need my plain white sheet of paper and I actually only need half of my sheet of paper. I'm going to fold it in half hamburger style short side to short side making sure that my corners and my edges are lined up. Walk my fingers over and use my fingers to make a nice crisp crease right here in the center of my paper. Then I'm going to open up this sheet of paper and notice now I have a line going down the center and I'm going to use my scissors to cut on that line really carefully so that I have a nice neat cut on that edge. I'm trying really hard to make that edge nice and straight and even. So now I only need one half of this piece of paper. The other piece of paper I can save for something else. Now that I have my half sheet of white paper, I'm going to color both sides. But on one side, I'm only going to use warm colors. And on the other side, I'm only going to use cool colors. So I've got my mega pack of crayons here. I'm going to choose just a handful of cool colors and a handful of warm colors. You might have more crayons than I do. You might have less. That's okay. So first I'm going to start off with my cool colors. I'm going to pick out colors that make me think of a field of green grass or a bright blue sky or purple flowers. These are going to be my cool colors. Here's my collection of cool colors. I'm going to set those to the side. And now I'm going to pick a collection of warm colors. So warm colors are colors I think of when I think of fire, flames. These are yellows and oranges and reds and pinks. Remember, pink is a tint of red. So pink is definitely a warm color. I'm going to use a messy mat underneath my paper so that I don't get a bunch of crayon on my table. I'm going to start off with my warm colors first and this is really fun. I'm just going to scribble all over my white sheet of paper and as I scribble I want to make sure that I'm covering every single part of the paper. So you can be really free with your scribbling. They can be loops. You could make zigzags, straight lines. You can pick up your crayon and make little separate lines like that. And when you get tired of a color, put it down, choose another warm color and do the same thing. You can make loops and color in certain areas. If you get close to the edge, you might wanna move your hand and kind of move your crayon away so it doesn't go underneath your paper. And I'm just trying to make sure that I'm covering every single part of my paper. If my hand gets tired, I can always put down my crayon, shake my hand out, and then keep going. At this point, I'm going to look for any little peekaboo spots I have left and fill those in with my warm colors. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. And so now I'm going to flip my half sheet of paper over to the back side. And now I'm going to use just my cool colors to do the same thing on the back of my scribble paper.
Okay, that part was really fun. I love feeling so free and getting to just scribble all over the paper. So now I have my cool color side all finished and on the other side, my warm color side. Next, to make my noton, I'm going to need that black piece of paper and I'm going to start cutting out my scribble paper and gluing it down on my black piece of paper. So the first thing I need to do is figure out how this half sheet of paper will line up on my black piece of paper. And look, it'll line up over here on this side. If I pick up my scribble paper, I'm going to be cutting out shapes from this side. So I'm going to keep it really simple to start off with. I'm just going to cut kind of a U shape, kind of this curved shape from this side of my scribble paper. And if I line it back up again here, it fits together like a puzzle. But this puzzle piece here in the middle, I'm going to flip over and put over on this side of my noton. So now you see that cool color side of my scribble drawing. I think it would be really neat to cut out a shape from this and have that flipped over on this side. I'm gonna pick this up and cut out a shape. This was my original piece over here. I flipped it over like this, and then I cut out this shape, and guess what? I'm going to flip it over this way. So now it's really starting to take shape as my noton with those light pieces and those dark pieces. I would love to see some more cool colors over on this side, so I'm going to take this same shape that I just made, and I'm gonna do it again. It's gonna be kind of a teardrop shape this time. Line it up, and then flip over this piece. So it's like the mirror image of what's going on on this side. Ooh, that's starting to look really interesting. So in my example, you'll notice Here's my center shape. I made it kind of spiky. You could make spiky kind of zigzags. You could make heart shapes like I did here. And you can even cut out from the edge of your scribble paper and flip it over to the other side. This is really interesting too. I cut out a shape by cutting down from the edge of my paper and then cutting in like this. I did the same thing over here. Let me show you how I did it. From the edge over here, I'm going to cut out half of a heart. So I'm going up, around, and then back down again. Now this gets confusing, so move slowly. Notice I haven't glued anything yet. I'm just moving really slowly so I don't get my pieces all mixed up and confused. So here's my heart shape, half a heart that I just cut out. I'm going to flip it over on that line of symmetry. That line of symmetry is there in the middle, so things are alike on both sides. And look, there's my heart shape right there. That was so fun, I'm gonna do it again down here. So carefully pick up my paper. I don't wanna move it around too much or I'll get all jumbled up and forget where my paper is supposed to go. I'm going to flip it on that line of symmetry, and there's my heart shape again. So cool. Okay, I'm gonna jazz it up with some spiky shapes, maybe some less organic shapes, maybe some geometric shapes. So I'm gonna be really careful, and remember, even if I turn my paper, I have to remember I've got to turn it back where it was before. I might come down and just cut through my paper like that. See, I just made a little slit there. And let's say I want to make a diamond shape, a rhombus. I can cut out. Ooh, I'm really turning it around a lot now. So I have to be really careful that I remember to put it back in the correct place. So here's my rhombus shape. So there it is. That's where it came from originally. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to flip it over in the same exact spot on the other side. Ooh, that's looking cool. So 
I'm gonna put my piece of paper back where it was before so I don't get confused. Some of my pieces kind of came out of place, but that's okay. I can always move them back. Okay, now look, I'm, I got a little confused. How does my star fit in there? I gotta turn it around. Oh, there's my puzzle piece. So now I'm gonna take my star and just flip it over to the other side. And there we go. So notice I've got these slits here, but that's okay. No one's going to see those once we glue our noton down. And if you want to add more shapes to your noton, you certainly can. If you want to cut out some pieces, like say I want to cut out a piece of this heart here, I could just cut on the inside of my heart. Let's remember where it goes like that. And then I can take this little piece here and flip it back the other way, making sure that I line it up along that line of symmetry. I could even do that with my rhombus here. I could cut into my rhombus and cut a smaller shape from the inside. Remember where my rhombus goes originally and then flip this little piece over to the other side. I could even cut out a little shape from over here, maybe just a triangle. Remember, put your paper back so you don't get confused, put your puzzle together, and then flip it to the other side. Awesome, I think I'm ready to start gluing. So when I glue, I wanna make sure that all my pieces are where they need to be so they're all in the right spot so that when I start gluing I won't get confused and put the pieces in the wrong spot. I've got my glue bottle. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to flip this whole piece over and put my glue on the other side. So I'm putting glue on this cool side of my scribble paper and I'm just drawing with my glue bottle touching my glue bottle to my paper so that I have control over where my glue is going. Some of the glue might ooze out the side, but that's okay. It'll dry clear. I'm going to take this piece and carefully line it up with the edge and glue it down. I want to make sure it's really lined up with the edge so that I don't see a lot of black paper showing through. And I'm just gently pressing it down. And now I'm gonna glue in these little pieces here. And I'm gonna finish up carefully gluing all these puzzle pieces down for my colorful scribble note on. Awesome, any little pieces that I have like this that are kind of flipping up, Sometimes I just put a little tiny bit of glue on my fingertip and just spread it around underneath the flap, push it down, and that seems to do the trick. I had such a fun time making these scribble notons with you today. Yours might look completely different than mine. Yours might be a little bit more simple, or maybe you added in a lot more detail than I did, and that's okay. And remember, when you're creating, the possibilities are endless.